Insta360 just dropped a major update to their free desktop editing software, Insta360 Studio. The update comes with a fresh design and layout and some long, long awaited features because now you can combine all the 360 files in a single timeline. You can multitask and work on multiple edits at the same time, and you can now add background tunes, text, and fancy transitions, and incredibly, you now get proxy editing on Studio V5.0. All right, let's dive in so I can show and tell you more about Studio, this latest release, more than the trailer from Insta360 shows you. And I'm not a big Studio user. I use the app 99% of the time, but these changes could draw me into using Studio far more when I'm not traveling, or if I ever transfer out of using my iPad and onto a MacBook. In version 4.9 of Studio, you could only really work on one clip at a time, previewing and reframing, and then exporting that video. If you just want to reframe and add keyframes, you can totally still just do that. But there are a couple of nice additions and ways that Insta360 have tried to make the app and studio experience a bit more seamless. The first change to highlight here is the larger viewing window, which is really nice. The second change worth flagging to you here is that when you add a keyframe and experiment with the field of view, the options fit in better and match more with the app. If you're more of an app user like me, it will feel more like something you've seen before and means you'll get a comparable experience and you won't have to try and figure out whether it's the same between both these platforms or not. Now the rest of the changes in version 5.0 are quite a leap forward, including changes that people have been pleading for. Now there are two tabs, the media tab and the new project tab. You can start a new project and this supports editing of multiple clips all on the same timeline and to export it all as a single video. You can also have several edits on the go simultaneously. Just start a new project and switch between projects with a click. But that's not all. You can edit any clips you've reframed in the studio even if they're not from an Insta360 camera. Any MP4 video will work. Also, you can put your 360 clips on a timeline, reframe them, and join them as you go. Just drag the clip onto the timeline. It's that easy. Just select the magnet feature here, and all your clips will snap together on the timeline, making it easy to trim each one. You can split a clip in two and then split it again and delete the middle part. Also, just pick up and drag the clips on the timeline to rearrange them in any order you want. It's super easy to use, just like other editors you may be familiar with. And here's the new killer feature that everyone's been asking for. You can finally make a complete video, not just with multiple clips, which we've covered, but also now with background music, titles, and transitions. Let me fill you in. For music, you can choose from a wide selection of free songs or import your own MP3 files too. A little tip for you here from me. If you're putting your video out on any kind of monetized platform, I'd steer clear of the free music and use music you know you have copyright clearance for. It's now so simple to import these files into your project for your complete video and control the volume of both your camera footage and music files. With Studio 5.0, you can use preloaded transitions for a quicker, more personalized editing process. You can jazz it up with camera movements, special effects, and full 360 options like Tiny Planet or Barrel Roll to make the transitions between clips really slick. You can even spice up your video now with different text animations and effects that match your edit. And thankfully, each one can be customized to suit your own style and edit. There are some other nice touches that actually add a lot of value, like the new autosave information. One thing I really like is that you can see the time of the autosave feature while you're editing your clips. You have the option now to change also where your project saves to. These two features will give you peace of mind while you're editing, knowing that your project is being saved. Before this, we had no clue if our project was saved 
or where it went. Another high value feature which I did not expect to find is that you can set up proxy editing. Now a proxy is a lower quality version of a video file that's used in editing to make things easier and quicker and slicker. When you're dealing with high res video files, your computer might get overwhelmed and start lagging. The editor can use this smaller proxy file to work with that lower res video so they don't need a lot of processing power and you can edit faster. It's an advanced feature which is an incredible incredibly powerful addition to Studio 5.0. And there are some more additions to Studio 5.0 that help speed up your editing workflow too. Let's go over these quickly. You now have right clicking for keyframes. In the previous versions of Studio, you needed two steps to add a keyframe, clicking on the timeline and then adjusting the clip. Now you right click and adjust in one go. You also now get synced editing. Any changes you make to a clip in the new media tab also shows up in your ongoing projects. Adding other media to your edit is also simple. If you have an intro or end screens that you regularly use, you can get these and add them to the general media folder and that goes for your music too. The speed editor is also a new change, helping you to accurately and easily change clip speeds on your timeline and even adjust multiple clips at once. So creators have more and better choices now. You have the option of choosing between the Insta360 Studio for a great desktop experience or the AI powered mobile suite in the Insta360 app. I wonder when AI powered Shot Lab will come to Studio. Anyway, both options are totally free for everyone. Get the update on the Insta360 website. It works with all Insta360 action cameras and runs on both Windows and Mac OS. Check out this video next for how a 360 camera actually works. It might help you figure out how to use it best if you're new to 360 footage. I'll see you there.